Hey everybody, welcome to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David, and this is the Ambassador Kit. Um, this Ambassador Kit was put together by the United States Playing Card Company. It was exclusively done for not only their Play More Cards Day, which was February 23rd of 2013, but it was also only available to anyone who had joined their special exclusive Club 808. Um, just give you an idea of what came in the box as their way to promote Play More Cards Day. Um, you got drinking cups, a big stack of them. They just say Play More Cards on them. You could use these as drinking cups, I'm sure. Uh, you could also use them as probably as dice cups. Um, that would have worked. Um, they gave you about four different tabs of score sheets. Uh, they all are emblazoned with the bicycle logo, so those are cool. Uh, you got a bicycle, red bicycle clip chip. You got two blue bicycle uh, can opener keychains. Uh, you got a stack of Play More Cards Day uh, um, coasters. There's a poster that basically says Play More Cards that you could put up in your house or in the window of your bar that would promote the day. Uh, you got three different pens that say bicycle on them. You have some window decals that you could have put in the window maybe of your shop. And of course, what you need primarily for Play More Cards Day is the red and blue United States Playing Card Company standard bicycle uh, rider back decks. Um, they gave you an entire brick of, of decks, which is an equal number of uh, six and six, red and blue. And it's called a brick because, let's face it, this is about the shape and size of, of a brick. And so uh, if you ever wondered why uh, Club 808 got its name or why sometimes people refer to the rider back card as an 808 deck, it's because um, Russell and Morgan uh, started this company, the United States Playing Card Company, but it was originally a printing company, so they printed lots of different things. And Russell and Morgan and Company, uh, they produced their very first deck of cards way back in Cincinnati, Ohio, uh, back in their factory in 1881, and that brand was called Tigers. And so if you ever get a chance or ever see a Tiger deck, you know, you want to pick that up. And the number assigned to the Tiger deck was 101. Well, a short time later, they did uh, decks 202 and 303. Those were the Army and Navy decks. And then later, a few others were produced. They were given similar numbers in sequential order. And eventually, Russell and Morgan introduced the bicycle line, and they assigned it the number 808. And so whenever you see a bike uh, rider back deck of cards, typically, you're going to find 808 right at the end of the UPC right there. Um, when you join the 808 club, the other the thing, you, even though you can't get the ambassador kit anymore, what you will get is this. You will get their exclusive Club 808 deck. From what I heard, there's only 5,000 of these printed. So once the first 5,000 are gone, um, either they'll come up with some new uh, offer, but you won't be able to get this particular deck anymore. This is the Club 808 deck. And the back of it, the tuck box is pretty much just um, the just the, the back design and, and your standard uh, bike box. The, the back design on this is kind of like a urban street, kind of graffiti-esque um, type of design. And with the deck, it's pretty standard. Even the jokers, you're gonna get the, the one um, guarantee joker and then the one standard joker. The ace of spades is, of course, different. It has the club 808 logo. And then the spaces, these are all, um, these are all standard, you know, there's nothing special about these. And then as far as a gaff, you're going to get one uh, double backer, which is always good. Um, the, the, it was nice to get these cards, and it's certainly great that uh, there's a company out there that's going to give its members exclusive things. And for the most part, this is a typical uh, USPC de deck, plays and handles just like you'd expect a bicycle deck to handle. Um, I don't love the back design. It, for me, it doesn't fit the persona or, or the, um, the trademark of bicycle. If you line up all the great uh, bike decks of the past and look at what they've done throughout time and history, uh, this one doesn't seem to kind of mesh in the same way. It's a little too urban. It's a little too street, at least for me. Okay. Um, the other thing I don't love and that a lot of card people don't love is the fact that it has a full bleed on the back, which means the black goes all the way to the edges. And then on the faces, of course, it's white. So the issue then becomes with magicians is if you stick a card in your deck and it's reversed, uh, you go through and fan the deck 
and of course you're going to always see the little hint of white sticking out when you're looking at the blacks, uh, the backs. Or if you turn the deck over, you're always going to see that little hint of black uh, showing. So it's, it's impossible to hide a reverse card in a deck like this. The one cool thing that magicians would always like, um, of course, is this is actually a one-way back design, and the answer is in the B. If you flip the B over, you'll notice that the shading is different on either side. And so that's the Club 808 deck. You can join the Club 808. Um, you can always check for current prices and just go to bicyclecards.com slash 808. Thanks.